Have you ever had that feeling like you just knew something was going to happen before it did? Yeah. Like a whisper in your mind or a glimpse into the future. Right. Well, today we're diving deep into a source that explores this idea, precognition. Uh-huh. The ability to perceive future events. Okay. And it gets even more interesting. Oh. Because this source suggests there might be a link between precognition and autism. That's right. And it might sound a bit out there at first. Yeah. But when you really think about some of the characteristics of autism, about... especially that heightened sensitivity to patterns and details, right. it starts to make you wonder. It really does. Yeah. But first, can we define precognition for anyone who's not familiar with the term? Absolutely. Precognition is essentially the ability to gain knowledge uh -huh. about future events that you couldn't have known through normal means. Okay. Think of it like having flashes of insight or a gut feeling that turns out to be true, hmm. or even a dream that predicts something that actually happens later on. So like a sixth sense. Exactly. And the source we're looking at today suggests that this sixth sense might be more common in autistic individuals. Wow. They even call it the psychic autistic experience. That's a powerful way to put it. Yeah. So how does the source connect autism to precognition? Well, they point to the heightened sensitivity okay. that many autistic people experience. Right. Think about it. Many autistic individuals are incredibly attuned to details, uh -huh. patterns, yeah. Yeah. and changes in their environment that most people wouldn't even notice. Right. So the source suggests that this heightened sensitivity could extend to picking up on subtle cues or signals that haven't happened yet. Okay. Almost like sensing echoes from the future. So it's not necessarily seeing the future like a movie. Right. But more like picking up on these tiny hints that others miss. That's a great way to put it. Mm. Imagine a concert, for example. Okay. For someone with auditory sensitivities, yeah. the thought of a loud concert can be overwhelming. But if they could somehow sense that event approaching, mm -hmm. even subconsciously, right. it could give them time to prepare. Yeah. Maybe they'd bring noise-canceling headphones or choose a seat further from the speakers okay. or even decide to skip the concert altogether. Right. This is the kind of agency the article is talking about, okay. specifically for those on the spectrum who are sensitive to sensory overload. It's like having a heads up that helps you navigate the world in a way that feels safer and more manageable. Exactly. And that's just one example. The source highlights a whole range of potential benefits of precognitive abilities, Okay. especially for autistic individuals. Mm. They talk about a sense of control, uh -huh. improved emotional regulation, right. and even increased self-esteem. Those are incredible benefits, Yeah. especially for people who might face challenges in those areas. Right. Can we dive a little deeper into each one? Mm -hmm. I'm really curious to hear how precognition could actually help. Of course. Let's start with control. The article suggests that precognition could offer a sense of agency over one's environment. Mm. If you have even a slight inkling of what's coming, it yeah. could help you prepare for and navigate unexpected events, yeah. especially those that might trigger anxiety or sensory overload. Like being able to anticipate a change in plans yeah. or a potential trigger Excess. before it happens. Right, yeah. You could have time to practice grounding techniques or communicate your needs mm -hmm. or even remove yourself from the situation. Exactly. And that leads into the second benefit. Okay. Improved emotional regulation. Right. Imagine being able to anticipate a situation that might lead to a meltdown or emotional overload. Right. That foreknowledge could give someone the time and space they need to prepare coping mechanisms. Yeah. Or even avoid the trigger completely. It's like having an early warning system for your emotions, giving you more control over your reactions. And then there's the third benefit. Right. Increased self-esteem. The source suggests that recognizing and developing precognitive abilities could boost an autistic individual's confidence and sense of self-worth. I can see how that would be incredibly empowering. Yeah. It's like discovering a hidden talent uh -huh. or unique strength that sets you apart. Exactly. And for individuals who might feel marginalized or misunderstood, right. having this ability validated and celebrated could have a profound impact on their self-perception. It's about embracing neurodiversity and recognizing the potential mm. within those differences, isn't it? Yes. Instead of viewing certain autistic traits as deficits, uh -huh. we can explore how they might actually be advantages. Right in certain contexts. Precisely. Now, it's important to remember that the source we're discussing doesn't claim that precognition is a guaranteed superpower right. for everyone on the spectrum. It's more about encouraging exploration and self-discovery yeah. and keeping an open mind to the possibilities. Absolutely. 
And while the article doesn't delve deeply into the science behind precognition, it does briefly mention differences in brain structure and function mm. as a possible factor. Interesting. So there's at least some scientific basis yeah. for exploring this connection. The source suggests that autistic brains might process information differently, huh? potentially leading to heightened sensitivity and awareness, Okay. which in turn could contribute to precognitive abilities. I'm completely hooked. Now, for someone listening who's intrigued by all of this yeah. and wants to explore their own potential for precognition, mm -hmm. what kind of guidance does the article offer? Well, that's what we'll be diving into in the next part of this deep dive. Okay. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our deep dive into the fascinating world of precognition and autism. Yeah. Before the break, we were talking about how autistic individuals... Mm -hmm. With their heightened sensitivity right. to patterns and details, yeah. might be more attuned to picking up on these subtle cues from the future. That's right. And the source we're exploring from the <laughs> website Cheap ABA offers some guidance for those who want to delve deeper into this potential. Hmm. They suggest three main approaches. Okay. Now, you might be wondering where this information comes from. Right. It's actually from a website called Cheap ABA. Okay. Which is dedicated to providing affordable resources for autistic individuals and their families. Uh -huh. So their perspective is really focused on empowerment and finding ways to help people thrive. And their suggestions for exploring precognition really align with that perspective. Okay. The first suggestion is simply trusting your instincts. Hmm. We all have those gut feelings, those mm -hmm. hunches that something is about to happen. Mm -hmm. The source emphasizes that these might be more than just random thoughts. Yeah. They could be picking up on subtle signals from the future. So it's like paying attention to that inner voice, right. that whisper of intuition. Exactly. And learning to trust it a little more. And the second suggestion they offer okay. is mindfulness and meditation. Hmm. These practices can help calm the mind, increase self-awareness, mm -hmm. and potentially open you up to those subtle energies and patterns that we were talking about earlier. It makes sense that being more present and aware of the current moment could also make you more sensitive to the flow of time itself. Yeah. Almost like expanding your perception beyond the here and now. That's a beautiful way to put it. Wow. And the final suggestion wow. is to seek guidance from experienced practitioners, hmm. people who have already developed their precognitive abilities right. and can offer mentorship or support. I can see how having a mentor in any area of personal development can be valuable. Yeah. But finding a precognition mentor right. sounds a little more challenging than, say, finding a yoga teacher. Uh -huh. What are your thoughts on that? You're right. It's not as straightforward as looking something up in the phone book. Yeah. And this is where a healthy dose of skepticism comes in. Okay. Precognition, by its very nature, yeah. is a topic that pushes the boundaries of conventional science. Right. So while seeking guidance can be helpful, yeah. it's important to be discerning and avoid anyone making grandiose claims or promising instant results. It's like anything else you want to find credible sources. Right. Do your research. Uh-huh. And not just blindly follow anyone who says they have all the answers. Exactly. But isn't precognition itself a bit of a controversial topic? That's a really important point. Okay. While the connection between autism and precognition is intriguing, yeah. it's essential to remember that precognition itself is not scientifically proven. Right. There is a lot of debate and skepticism within the scientific community, uh -huh. and it's definitely not something to take at face value. So we're not saying you should suddenly expect to be predicting lottery numbers right. or yeah. seeing the future unfold before your eyes, yeah. but maybe, just maybe... Mm. There's more to our intuition yeah. and those gut feelings than we realize. Exactly. Especially for those on the autism spectrum. Yeah. It's about keeping an open mind to possibilities, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And it's worth remembering that the source we're discussing, Cheap ABA, okay. comes from a perspective of wanting to empower autistic individuals. Right. They're highlighting precognition as a potential strength, hmm. a way to navigate the world with more confidence and control. And I think that's a really valuable perspective. Yeah. Instead of focusing on limitations, mm -hmm. we can explore the possibilities. Right. The unique abilities that might exist within the autistic experience. Exactly. So for you listening, okay. maybe this deep dive has sparked your curiosity. Yeah. Maybe you'll start paying closer attention to your own intuition, uh -huh. exploring those moments when you just seem to know something before it happens. 
And who knows? Maybe this will inspire you to do some more research. Right. To explore the world of precognition. Yeah. And see what resonates with you. Uh Uh-huh. But for now, okay. we're going to shift gears a bit right. and delve into some of the other amazing resources that Cheap ABA offers. They cover a wide range of topics related to autism. Yeah. From sensory challenges to social skills uh-huh. to employment and relationships. It's really an incredible resource. It is. And we're excited to share more about it with you after the break. Welcome back. We've been on quite a journey exploring this intriguing world of precognition and its potential connection to autism. It's been fascinating. But as we mentioned, the website we've been discussing, Cheap ABA, right. has a whole treasure trove of information Oh yeah. beyond this one article. Absolutely. And you might be wondering, what is Cheap ABA? Right. It's all about providing affordable and accessible resources for autistic individuals, their families, and anyone who wants to learn more. Uh-huh. And they really live up to their name, covering a wide range of topics in a clear and concise way It's easy to understand. I agree. What really struck me when I was looking at their website is the sheer variety of topics that they tackle. Me too. It's not just about the clinical definitions or diagnoses. Right. It's about real life. They get into the nitty gritty of what it's like to navigate the world as an autistic person. Mm -hmm. And they do it with a lot of empathy and understanding. Yeah. It's refreshing, isn't it? They talk about things like sensory overload, right. the challenges of masking social anxiety, mm. all those experiences that can be so overwhelming for autistic individuals. Yeah, and they do it in a way that feels validating and supportive, like they truly get it. I think so, too. One thing I notice is they have a section specifically for autistic women. Oh, yeah. It's so important to acknowledge that autism doesn't present the same way in everyone. Right. And women often face unique challenges. Yeah, like being misdiagnosed or having their symptoms overlooked. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And cheap ABA doesn't shy away from those nuances. They don't. They also explore the intersection of autism Mm -hmm. with other conditions like anxiety, depression, even things like religious trauma syndrome. Wow. It's a reminder that autism isn't a one-size-fits-all experience. Every individual is different with their own unique set of strengths and challenges. And that's what Cheap ABA seems to emphasize. Yeah. Embracing the diversity of the autistic experience. Exactly. They celebrate the strengths and talents of autistic individuals. Uh Uh-huh. While also acknowledging the need for support and understanding. It's a good balance. They really strike that balance well. I think so. They offer practical tips. Yeah. And strategies for navigating everyday life with autism. Mm -hmm. Things like sensory regulation techniques, Mm -hmm. communication tools, and social skills development. Right. All presented in a way that feels empowering rather than overwhelming. I agree with that. And they even have a whole section on employment. Oh, right. Employment is so crucial. It is. Autistic individuals often face barriers in the workplace. Yeah. So having resources and guidance in this area can be a game changer. Absolutely. It's true. They talk about disclosing your diagnosis to employers, Mm -hmm. navigating workplace accommodations, and even exploring autism-friendly career paths. It's all about helping individuals advocate for themselves and find fulfilling work that aligns with their strengths and passions. Well, we've only scratched the surface of what Cheap ABA offers. Right. But I think it's clear that this website is a goldmine of information and support <laughs> yeah. for anyone touched by autism. Yeah, and it's a testament to their commitment to making these resources accessible right. to everyone, regardless of their financial situation. Uh-huh. They're truly living their mission. So as we wrap up our deep dive into autism and precognition, okay, we want to leave you with this. All right. Keep exploring. Keep learning. And keep an open mind. Uh Uh-huh. The world of autism is full of diverse perspectives and experiences, and there's always something new to discover. That's the truth. And remember, whether you're on the spectrum, know someone who is, or are simply curious to learn more resources like Cheap ABA are out there to guide and support you. Keep diving deep. Absolutely.